Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to another prompt week with Inspired to Create. Now, I am behind. This is week two. This is week two of July and um, it is currently Friday and the, the post comes out on Wednesday. So I'm two days late even getting this out. Now, uh, I have been, I've been late. <laughs> it, it gets, it gets away from me quickly in the middle of the week and it's just no, it's like, it is what it is. So I've been posting the prompt for you on my Instagram and my YouTube channel. So you have the word and you can do with it as you please. And, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. So I'm going to go ahead and do mine, uh, full truth. It is about almost one o'clock in the morning. I'm leaving in about four and a half hours. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Um, the word of the week this week is sparkler. Now I, um, stamped this out for you guys. And then I was like, I don't really like these colors. And I stamped it out in silver and put silver sparkle paint on top of it. Can't find that. Can't find the silver one, but it doesn't matter. That's not what I use for my page. So um, I did have the colored one. Okay. So here we go. This is week two. This is the week where Melissa and I actually, um, exchange prompts. Like we tell each other the prompts. So Melissa over at Messy Missy Creates and I have been doing this prompt challenge weekly since February. Please join us, join in the fun, use the hashtag, give us a tag. Um, tell us, tell us how you like to create it. We've seen all sorts of amazing, amazing ideas now. Okay. I, um, I tend to create in my journal and I like to create on a page and then glue it in my journal. Okay. So this is the page that I have cut out that fits my journal page. Now I don't know what we're doing. I honestly don't because we're choosing some long words. Okay. So last week was nine letters. This week is eight letters. My piece of paper is not that big. So let's see what Melissa sent me. Okay. The first prompt she gave me is, uh, and I did pull some stuff. I haven't made any decisions. I just pulled some stuff. So th this could go really well or, or not. Um, the first prompt she gave me was stars. Now I just went through my scrapbook paper and pulled out some stars. I also have an ephemera pack right here that has some fun stars in it. So it's, I thought that would be fun. And I have this old box of, um, gold, <clears throat> excuse me, my goodness, sequined, no, foiled stars. I don't know if you remember these, but this is what I had as a kid. Like you lick them. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. My throat is like super parched all of a sudden. Okay. So S is stars. Now P is, um, plaid. Now, again, I went through my scrapbook paper I think that's plaid. I don't actually know the definition of plaid. I did look it up. It gave examples, but I don't know if it has to be two different size lines is my actual question. So see, these I all know are plaid. Okay. Now my eye, of course, is drawn kind of to the red, but that's maybe because, you know, I know what's coming. <laughs> so, all right. A is argyle. So again, I went through my scrapbook paper. This is all out of my scrap drawer, you guys. And I found two pieces of Argyle paper. Kind of fun. So we'll be using one of those. All right. The next one is ribbon. Now, I didn't choose a ribbon, but I do have my, um, you know, my ribbon bundles out. So we will choose a piece here. So there's a ribbon. And... Let's see. The next thing is knot. So my assumption is we're going to tie some of that ribbon in a knot or something. We're not, I'm not too sure. Okay. We'll figure that out. The next prompt is lines. So again, here's some scrapbook paper, all with different lines. Okay. It does seem to be in a little bit of a color family. I thought this one was interesting because those are definitely lines, but not maybe what we think of. I actually really like this one. Uh, I have this, I have this fun piece. It's like a school, you know, where you learn to write. This actually is lines, but it's, um, lines of flowers. I thought that was fun. And then I pulled this little journal card, um, that has lines on it as a, maybe 
a journal spot. Not too sure yet. Not too sure. All right. The next line, um, the next line, the next prompt is envelopes. Now, um, I pulled, um, I pulled this from my happy mail. Sorry. I was like, blah, blah, which I love except, well, I mean, it would look like, you know, it would go, it would be on this side. So yeah, the issue is this is my size of paper, remember? So there's nothing to say we can't put an envelope this way. Okay. Um, I'm just not, I don't know. I'm not in love with it. This is a coin envelope, but technically still an envelope. Yeah. Or no, it's not a coin envelope. It's a little, um, gift. What do they call these? Like a little goodie bag envelope, right? Isn't it an envelope? I don't know. But again, not amazed or not, um, super amazed with that. But the other thing I did pull was this little, um, fun thing that I picked up at the thrift store and it has some envelopes in it. And I thought maybe one of these would be fun. I have a whole nother stack of envelopes over here. If you are new here, welcome. If not, you have seen me clean off my desk and I have a packet over there in my magic paper pile of envelopes. So we have more to choose from. Look at this amazing paper in here, first of all. Can we, and those fun clips. Um, I'll put the paper back in here. And we have more envelopes. I think there's more in the back. There sure are. Okay. So we have more envelopes to choose from. Maybe this is a sample of all four. It looks like it is. Green. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. I don't know. So maybe one of those envelopes will work. And then, so I'll put those over there. And then the last prompt is red. So uh, I pulled some pieces of red out of my <laughs> scrap bucket. This is just a, how to use your scraps. How about that? This is out of Happy Mail and this fun heart is out of Happy Mail. Is that not adorable? This also has stripes on it, as you can see. So that would count. I also have this embroidery, um, like Baker's twine, Baker's twine that I actually used last week. I still have it out on the desk and is red. So we could use this and like not. I actually had an idea for something I want to do with this. We could use this as a knot. Okay, there we go. So uh, I did write out the prompts like this. So stars, plaid, argyle, ribbon, knot, lines, envelope, and red. And I have a little piece of paper. So let's figure out a couple things. I do want to um, get into here a little bit and see what some choices are because I think we actually have two options, right? Like the line prompt, like that has lines on it. There's a star that has lines on it. Star. Mm, these we don't, oh my gosh, look at that. That's Argyle and that's lines. Oh, they're two sided and they're different. Okay. I mean, that's lines of text. Not as exciting. That has lines on it, but again, well, I mean, I guess we can keep it as an option. There's a star. Oh my gosh, there's plaid. How funny. I did not know. I didn't uh, maybe realize that. This has lines on it, a little tiny one. Here's another star. Oh, I really like this pack. What fun. There's some lines. Um, more lines. I think we'll keep that one out. All right. Wood word. Okay. So we don't need these and there is a star. Okay. So, um, I think I'll, you know, keep these out as, as maybes, obviously stars. This is all lines except for the Argyle. Okay. Oof, we still have a lot to work with. We still have a lot to work with. So I'll tell you what, I am going to kind of go through. I really, oh, I didn't remember I had that one. 
I feel like we need to tie kind of the colors in, right? So I'm feeling like this probably is not going to be the color scheme we go with. This, um, this is kind of fun. The blue is fun also. I have lots of options for stars. So I have, again, the sparkle, the little sticker stars. I have other stars. The thing I'm most limited on is this argyle. So I now have three pieces, which I only thought I had two, which is nice. I think I'm a little, let's see, here's plaid. <laughs> it's interesting. I spent all this time pulling this paper and look at it all like three prompts, four prompts come in this one ephemera pack. Is that not crazy? I really thought I was going to use this. I'm not going to lie. I am really drawn to that and that I'm a little bit in still the Americana theme. I can tell. Um, you know, this is kind of one option. The weird part is I don't have like, um, like a focal point and I don't have like a technique or anything. Now I could easily um, draw stars or paint with red or anything like that. Like obviously the prompts are really open. So I'm not going to use these two because I'm not liking the color. Um, oh, and I pulled something. Oh, this is what I did. Okay, I did. I pulled, I went into my art book and... Uh, I went looking for something red and I found, look, look at this guy. He is entirely too big for my page. Oh my gosh. Isn't he fabulous? Okay. Here's some little birds. They're kind of fun. That would be a good size. I don't know if we actually need it. Look at this lizard guy. Um, look at this alligator. Is he not fabulous? And then look at these faces. I mean, look at her. This one's fun. She looks like almost sunburnt or something weird on her face. I'm not too sure. This one looks more glamorous to me. He looks kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're rather large for what we have going on. So maybe we'll put that back, but that was my idea. Um, yeah. So I just don't know if I don't use this plaid, I do have this more simple one. And I am in love. These little pieces are so cute. So funny. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm liking that. Although that's plaid and plaid, it's fine. I do like these envelopes. I kind of like the color of them. I mean, this one's fun. I'm really drawn to this one though. Let's just pull it. We're going to use the blue. We're just going to make a decision. That decision's now done. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Now the only problem is this color scheme I'm kind of going with here is not red. Obviously. Oh, that's close, isn't it? Now, um, I think I actually have a little bit of time, time, space. Let's see here. Okay. Here is the page it goes on. Now, first of all, this page itself is pretty small. You can see the edge. Like I have lots of room here. This page is even smaller. I cut it to kind of go inside. So we have a border on this blue. So why is that important? If I want to, you know, lap this over, this would stick out, but it would still be completely fine. 
Okay, so I do know I have a little bit of wiggle room. We're on a small page and I cut the white even smaller. So we have plenty of room to, um, whoops, 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 figure out what we want to do. Okay, so I'm kind of liking just color blocking some of this, honestly. So there's plaid, there's argyle. Um, I mean, we could kind of put it like that. That could actually be, that's too big. Well, we could cut it like the tab for the, you know, or it could be like a something up here. Melissa, I'd like to um, swap out a prompt. <laughs> I don't want the red on here. Okay. Um, all right, here's our list. Let's see where we're at. The stars I think are easy. These gold ones are like, I, I think they're going on here because I, I, I'm just in love with them and they bring back very, like they're very nostalgic for me. So I think we're definitely going to use some gold stars. I'm trying to see if like, I don't know. I mean, these are kind of fun. Not too sure. I mean, the lines work there. Oh, I'm just, I'm kind of sad that I, I am putting red on here because I really like this color combination right now, which is interesting. Okay, this card could go inside this for our lines if we want it to. That's one option. I mean, I did say I love this paper. I have lots of lined paper. Let's see. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Here's, I mean, we have more stars. I really do love this piece also. We might just have to use it. I'm going to maybe put these away. I think I'm not going to use this piece of plaid. So we'll put, we'll just put this all away and this piece of argyle. So I think we have this, these pieces here. Um, Hmm. Uh, I don't know you guys. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Oddly enough, I am kind of liking that and it's very, <laughs> I know it's very weird. Um, I don't know what we want to do. I know I'm just sitting here trying to think to myself and not talking to you. I do apologize. Um, I don't know how to incorporate like the lined paper. I'm also feeling just a little, I don't know if daring is the right word. Um, like I just want to kind of glue it down. Let's see. Let's see if we put that color at the bottom because this little argyle thing is a similar color. Maybe that will help it stand out a little bit. We do that. And then what if we put I think I like that more than on that. We're going to, we're going to just be daring you guys. We're going to, we're just going to do it. I, um, it's, it's going to be a very simple color blocked page at this point, but I'm really liking. All right, so we'll do that and we'll get some glue down here. 
Um, part of the reason, well, I mean, the reason I'm up is because I was still packing and some of my stuff was in the laundry. You guys, I'm packing. I'm going for seven days. I'm going for seven days and I'm bringing, I'm not joking. Um, I have like, um, three pairs of shorts and well, I have two swimsuits. I have three pairs of shorts and like, I just love that. Um, two pairs of pants, no, three pairs of pants. Cause I'm wearing one and like seven tops. <laughs> and then I have, um, like five workout outfits. <laughs> Yeah. So. And I have three pairs of shoes. Well, four pairs of shoes because I'm bringing my. Like flip flops just for the beach. But um, OK, so this is what we have so far. And I am OK with it. Like I. I actually kind of like it. Okay. Let's figure out what we have and what we need. So we have, I still need red. Ugh. Okay. We have, I'm counting that as plaid and this is lines and this is envelope. Okay. I know we're using this as the Argyle, so I'm going to cross it off. Like we know it's here. Okay. Now stars again, I'm I really like these, but I think these little gold stars are going to just go all over. And I think we've already used lines, so we don't need any of these. With the exception of, I mean, I might. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I might not actually, because we still got, we got some stuff to put on here. Okay. We need some red is what we need. Let's get some red. So that is going to do it for this. We ended up using one little piece, not the piece I thought I for sure thought we were going to use some of those stars. Okay. I am still really liking this piece though. So we could even just make a piece in there. We, I don't know. Still kind of playing with this. I do kind of like the something like that. We'll see. Okay. I don't think I need any of this lined paper. Um, Cause I have lines. So I think we're done with all of this. It took me a while. I'm not going to lie to go through my paper packs and or paper box and we're not going to use any of it. That's, that's okay. We're using I mean, we're using some, but okay. So we still need a ribbon. I think we'll take these as the stars. This paper obviously is stars also. So ribbon, knot, and red. Hmm. I don't have to use this. Okay. The idea I had, I'm going to put that in my empties. If I don't use it on here, we will, um, you know, use it on today's page or whatever. Um, it just doesn't go. It doesn't go with anything. Rah. Okay. We could pull it through here and make a tie, you know, like a bow kind of tie thing for this. My idea was actually just to make like a thing, right? And to knot it and like to put a star kind of over it almost. That was way better in my head. <laughs> I've seen you guys do this. You just take thread and you push it together. I would tie a knot because that's the prompt. But, um, and then it, it goes down and then you can, you know, you put a little piece of something, something on it. Okay. That's not wowing me right now. So we also have those reds. Now 
the magic thing that could tie this whole thing together could be ribbon. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Um, I have them kind of on color bundles, if you will. So I don't want just a solid red, obviously. It would be great if we found something that tied it all together with red. That's the vision. That's the vision that I'm putting out. Okay. Um, like that could do. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. This. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see if there's another perfect piece in here that we're supposed to have. These are kind of oranges. Um, definitely not reds. These are greens. Nope, I think the reds are in that. Here's the same piece, but in the teal pile. <laughs> um, the blue one. Can you tell I like that dishcloth, you guys? <laughs> oh, and, and I can tell you right now, if I use this, um, we are calling it ribbon. Okay. That's, that's, for real, you guys look, I put one in like every pile. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> kind of pinks and purples. I mean, I have just white ribbon. Huh. Well, what did I do? You saw what I did, right? Oh, no, I didn't. It's right here. Okay. Um, okay. Here's the reddish one again. Let's see. Let's go back through it one more time. I mean, I don't think That's really my, my closest thing that I think I could get to work. I also have this little, um, thing of ribbon, but these are not, these are little pieces and I don't have any red in here that I see at all in my blueberry box of ribbon. Um, there's red. I could just put a big red bow. It's already tied in a knot. It doesn't match a dang thing. Hmm. I'm definitely stuck on a color. And I, as much as I love the bow, I don't like the bow. Okay. Well, see, I would love it if we had like a stripe like that, but that had some red in it, right? Because that would tie in all the colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Maybe I do need that big bird thing or something, seahorse or something, because I'm just looking in my clusters box real quickly to see. Apparently, <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> We're not using that. Okay. Um, okay, that's, well, that's not red, so... That's red and that might do it. That might do it. That would make me happy. Um, um, I, you guys, if that works, I am going to be a happy bird. All right. Okay. 
So if we use that for red, I could cut off this border I put on it. Um, I think it works. Look at the blue over here and the green. You guys, I think this totally works. And I'm going to cut this border off that I glued on here. I totally punched it, glued it on, and it's getting cut off right now. Okay. Okay. We're back. We're back. We're fine. Um, so now for ribbon, now I don't need a red. Okay. So Mr. Lace, you have to wait your turn. It's not your turn today. I'm just tying you on another ring. All right. So if we, what do we want then? What do we want for like ribbon? I'm tempted. I have a lot going on. I'm tempted to go, um, that's fun. It's not exactly ribbon, is it? Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to go with something really simple. That's just me trying to calm things down. It's almost too simple, isn't it? What if we just went with like, hmm, well, um, Oh, I love that. Um, 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 um. What do we want to do? I don't know. Part of me just likes playing in the ribbon, so it's not like a huge um, <laughs> push to not play in the ribbon. I really like the lace. Is that ribbon? There's plaid ribbon. Is that plaid? Hmm. This is like eyelash trim ribbon. I'll tell you what, I'm making an executive decision. I might be cheating. I'm not even too sure. I am going to undo. I really like this ribbon trim here and I'm going to use it and if it doesn't count as ribbon you can let me know and we can still be friends all right I really like it a lot okay I'm going to count this as ribbon I don't know I don't know Okay. So we, I mean, I had this heart, but it's too like this matches better. So all of this is going away. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay. So we now have ribbon. I have the stars on here and I have these, we're going to cross it off. I just have to tie a knot and I have the red. Oh my gosh, we're done. Oh, okay. We just got to make it fit and tie a knot somewhere. So I think um, this is going to be, this is the piece that is not speaking to my heart right now. Um, I don't need, um, I don't need more stars because we're going to put the little gold ones on, but I do think we want to color block this a little bit more. So I do actually like, I know it's a lot. It's a lot going on. I hear you. I hear you. Um, <laughs> sometimes I just, you know, move it around and try it and audition it in different places. Just, and sometimes my brain just is like, oh, that's it. Um, unfortunately that's not happening right now. So we're going to have to keep trying. I'm playing around with this kind of as a tab. Like if I cut it off and it was halfway, it would be, you know, something kind of like that. 
And I think if we just Yeah. I'm I'm just uh just going to do it. There's this you guys this heart I've had forever. I cut it out of um some magazine like um you know, an art journal magazine years ago, years ago. And obviously used it recently, like try to use it with that border. And now it's going to have a home right here. We are going to, oh, this is fun. Um, This has little punched edge on it that I didn't even see. And I'm not in the mood for, quite frankly, to do this. <laughs> it's a lot. What's happening? Do they come out? All right. Interesting. Okay. So, uh, in cutting the Argo, we have to decide, are we cutting across the strip like this? So like it's solid blue, you know, or are we going to cut like this? That does not make my brain very happy. Okay. Or we could go, you know, crazy and do something like this. Um, because this is kind of well, who am I joking? I like probably the straighter edge on most, you know. All right, we're going to do that. And I'm going to put a little magic glitter. Um, it had a moment. It was thinking if it wanted to mess with me tonight, it made the wise decision. Today is not the day. Oh, and I'm going to cover up that blue anyway. Well, there it goes. There it goes. I put that a little bit deeper than I... Maybe thought I was going to, but that's fine. All right. This one is glued on here. I'm going to put it like roughly there. Now, this is the, the piece de la resistance. Um, I think I want it like right. Oh my God. It's so stinking cute. <gasps> I love it. You guys. I am also very conscious that I don't know if I want to tie a knot in this. All right, we're going to we're going to have to go um you know with another plan. So, let's get this glued down here. And Pray this glue sticks. Don't know if it will. It is um, Jewel It embellishing glue. Uh, probably should have used the fabric tack. <laughs> or the tacky, Eileen's tacky glue um, is what I meant. We're going to do that. Oh, I love that. Yep. I really like that. Okay. A lot. I like it a lot. All right. This is going to go. Yeah. Kind of like that. I guess I'll use the glitter glue since we have it out. And I am going to overlap it just a little bit. There it goes. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with this. <laughs> All right. Now, we're missing knot. So, what do we want to tie in a knot? Um, I mean, 
do we put this in here and tie in the red? Is that the answer to all of our, our problems? Uh, could be, could be. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Let's see. Let's see. Where's my other... You guys, you're not going to believe what I just found. Um, it's not what I was looking for, which is a little bit of a problem. But why why is it not what I'm looking for? Hmm. That's interesting. Um, because I cleaned my room, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I have a little hole punch. I have a little tiny, um, it's purple handled, and it is not here. Where is it? Donde esta the paper punch? Well, I could use my crocodile, but that's kind of defeating the purpose if it's supposed to be where I put it. And it's not. But huh, the good news is I found something else. And I don't know if we're going to use it or not. But you guys, this is, <laughs> I don't even have anything to show you. Um, this little punch is a star. Look at that. <gasps> is that not adorable? We could punch... We could punch some stars on here. Hmm. I would really, I would really like my little tiny hole punch right now. It's, that's gonna frustrate me. I do have my crocodile right here, and I think um, it's small enough. It's not as small as I was hoping, but that's okay. We're going to do something like, um, that. This is um, the crocodile, the normal one, and it is linked below into my Amazon links. Uh, you can get it, you know, different places. That's the regular size one. I also have the, the large long one, which I really like. All right, so we're gonna use this red thread and it looks a little bit like a monster now with eyes. <laughs> We're going to dye a knot right there because that prompt. All right. And go like that. Okay, that's okay because the red ties in. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. Now, interestingly enough, I'm, I'm wanting to punch like, like that. I'm not going to do it. Um, it would be a great excuse to use our little, oh my gosh, you guys, these, I used to walk to the teacher supply store and buy these and yeah. Oh, what fun. Okay. Because I'm not seven anymore. Um, I think we don't have to lick them and we could paint them with some water. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, what fun. Oh, these make me happy. All right. Um, my page is almost done, so I'll catch you up a little bit. We, 
like I said, I'm leaving in like, I don't even know, four hours, five hours now. Um, and I will be gone for an entire week. And so I am really sorry. This will be my last video and I will not be posting while I'm gone. Obviously I do appreciate everyone's comments and flexibility and everything. I apologize. I apologize. I've been a little MIA. So, um, I will be late with my, with my page next week also, <laughs> but, but next week is super fun. You guys, Melissa and I, um, the first week we, we just kind of got into like a pattern of kind of doing stuff a certain way. I don't know. And so the first word of the month, we tend to choose our own prompts. The second word of the month, which we're on, that's what this is. We tend to send each other prompts, like text each other prompts. The third week, we normally ask someone else, a crafty friend or a family friend or whoever we kind of choose. And then the fourth week, we mail each other prompts. And um, last month, the mailing did not go um, well. <laughs> Melissa didn't mail prompts because she had some um, like stuff, good stuff, you know, happening and so didn't get around to it. And so she sent them to me. I mean, just told me what they were. And then... I mailed mine and they never got to her and I'm just so pissed, but whatever. Um, I don't know if you can overdo stars either. You guys can let me know. I'm, I'm thinking the answer is no. So if you have a different answer, just, I don't know. We might have a difference of opinion on that. Um, anyway, so this month we, um, we did week one. We chose our own. This is week two. We chose each other's obviously week three, instead of asking, um, other people, we have a new, we have a new twist on the prompts next week. So I am, um, I'm actually kind of excited. I'm sad. My page is going to be late. I really wanted to post it at the same time. Um, yeah, but it's, there's, it's past that door has, that door has closed. We are, um, oh, heck yeah. Oh, I'm loving this page a lot. All of a sudden, look at those stars. My goodness. Okay. So, um, yeah. So next Wednesday, um, hopefully this one posts by then, uh, you'll have to go to Melissa's channel, see what she does, and then you'll know, um, what the prompt word is and everything. But, um, it was just kind of a fun idea. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it and we haven't done it yet. And we just thought it'd be fun to try it. So we're going to do it. Okay. You guys, this get down there. Oh, now see, they may not really stick because they're so old. Maybe, I don't know. If not, we can glue them. I might go back and do a little outlining on them. Do I want to do outlining? Let's practice real quick. It's really just an excuse for me to lick another star. I'm, I'm also, I have to be honest. I am a little tempted. I'm going to do it. You guys, you can't stop me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to punch some holes in this thing. Now, what did I want to do first? I wanted to, whoops, almost dropped my pen. I'm just wondering if, I'm wondering if we want to outline them just a little bit. This is a 0.1 pen. Um, yeah, because it has the black ink here, right? So I think that's fun. I'm yeah, it's kind of out of ink, interestingly enough. I think it's fine, but it's also like very light on the ink. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of like that. Oh, those are looking a little starfishy. I might need to slow my roll on um, the black ink here. The problem is once I get started, then then there's no stopping because now I want to add glitter and, you know, all the stuff. All right. So, but, um, my house, you guys, it smells so 
good. My son got home at like, I don't even know what time, 10 or something. I don't even know. And he was sad because I hadn't baked zucchini bread and I told him I was going to. His girlfriend um, brought over fresh zucchini and I absolutely love them. And we were going to cook them for dinner and it just didn't happen. And then I was like, oh, we have plenty. I'll make some zucchini bread before I go. And he's like, mom, you didn't make zucchini bread. I was like, no, I'm sorry, but you guys can make it. It's not, you know. And then I was like, oh, heck, I'm not packing anyway. And so I made fresh zucchini bread. So I made two loaves and I'll send some home with her. And then all right. Um, okay. Yes. I like that. And I am tempted. I'm going to do it because when else, when else? Yeah. I wanted to see like how far it reaches. I'm going to, Oh my God. Mm. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I like this. This is super cute. Oh, it's not happy there. Um, Oh, don't be mad. Don't be mad. Okay. Um, Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Okay. The problem is, of course, it doesn't go, you know, in here. It's not a long enough reach, so. But it will do the trick. Oh yeah. Oh my God, it's so stinky. Okay, now the reason I think that is um, going to work well is because here is my journal here is the page and it's going to go on. Oh my gosh. Mm, it's going to show through. I'm super happy with my page right now. And that's it. And just like that, the page comes together. <laughs> and I actually have this little envelope to actually put our prompts in. If I wanted to, I could put this in here, you know, and fold it up. I normally tuck them in, you know, kind of behind this. I glue it as a giant pocket and tuck it in here. This word's too dang long anyway. Now, um, when that has happened before, I have used it as a long pocket and tucked it in this way, which is probably still what I will do because I don't know if I want to put it all in here, but it's definitely an option. But look how cute that is with the holes poking through. <gasps> I love it. Melissa, thank you for the prompts. Um, Super fun, super creative, nothing that I thought it was going to be. And I absolutely love it. So I appreciate um, the inspiration, which is the whole reason we started this. Okay. So this is again, July week two of the inspired to create the word was sparkle. Those are the prompts Melissa sent me. And there you see my, um, my take on it. Super fun. Wait, should we check? We'll check. Okay. Stars, plaid, I almost had a panic attack. Okay, plaid, argyle, ribbon, we're, we're counting the lace ribbon. We're just doing it. Just, just go with it, okay? Um, not, lines are on this paper, envelope is right here, and red. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love it so much. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you're having a great day. If you are playing along, please let us know. Um, please tag Melissa, Melissa and I and use the hashtag. We would love to come check out what you do. You guys are so creative. I'm loving all of your takes on the prompts. And some of you have said like, um, you know, I haven't had the chance to start yet or I, you know, no problem. Just start where you start. It's no, it's, there's no pressure at all. And if you want to do a whole theme just about sparklers, you can, you can do whatever you want. It is completely up to you and your creativity. So, uh, this is my take on this week, but I would love to see what you do. So you guys, thanks for being here. If you're new, welcome, please, um, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to come back and leave a note below. I get back to all of them eventually. And, um, I'd love to, I'd love to say hello. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I, um, wish you all a wonderful week. I don't know quite when my videos will post, but I will be a little MIA and I will see you when I get back. I hope you're all well, and I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care.